Hello and welcome to my channel, AB Make It Art Work, where we do what we do to make that artwork for you. And if you're new to my channel, maybe hit that subscribe button. Join the AB Creative Crew. We do sketchy art things. Today's video is going to be an art rant, and if you are nervous about nudity, I'm going to be talking about why natural is good for your art. And I think by the end of it, I'm going to be talking about a little story time of when a basketball mom decided that our art show just wasn't good to show. So some things to know about me and my standpoint on artistic nudity and nudity in art. I'm not nervous about artistic nudity. I'm not nervous about it. I've drawn plenty of the naked form and done lots of studies, whether it be on my own with free videos with models or in an academic setting in college classes. I'm pretty all right when it comes to nudity. I don't mind and I don't care when it comes to the au naturel. And if I'm doing it in my art, it's usually for a reason. However, that's just my preference and you don't have to feel the same way. But today I'm here to kind of argue why you shouldn't be nervous about nudity and why natural is good for your art. I'm going to be talking about three pros and cons. One of the pros and one of the cons is actually the same thing. It's kind of a double-edged sword there that we're given. But the first pro with nudity, studying the naked form and just nudity in your art and art studies is that it lends to a better understanding of the human body. Now, I've expressed this with videos on how to draw different body types and how to do like character designs that you should watch videos in regards to different models. And if you're not quite sure about new naked or clothed models, there are different options so that you can see clothed models. But when you get to see the body without any the obstruction of clothes, it gives you a better understanding of the human form, of the human anatomy. And there's lots of technical books about the different parts of the human body. I think there's Anatomy for the Artist, that's a book that you can find. And it's very technical in its descriptions of the different body parts, so you don't have to feel like you're doing something gross when you look at this very technical art reference. And with the whole intent of character creation, the second pro of studying the naked human form and drawing naked people as a beat is that it helps for more organic character creation. Now, when I suggest for more organic character creation, I suggest that when you're studying models, don't just look for the exceptional body type or the ideal body type. Look for a variety of body types to study. For instance, Croaky Cafe has a variety of body types that come onto their channel on YouTube, which I'll link them in the description down, be down below. You know I love Croaky Cafe. Um, New Masters Academy tends to lean more towards the ideal body type, and while that may be good for like initial studies, not everyone looks like a bodybuilder or a supermodel, so that may not be very helpful in creating organic characters. But there's also Draw This which they have the Friday evening figure drawing and they get a wide variety of body shapes, body types, different ages and people for their models. And if you're still like a little on the fence about nudity, understand that with Draw This, their models wear swimsuits so that you don't have to feel too weird about their two to three hour long drawing sessions on Friday. So I'll be linking all those YouTube channels in the description. Because, you know, good art friends share good art resources. Now, the third pro, which is also a con, is symbolism. And 
When you use nudity as a symbolic representation in an art piece, it can mean a lot of different things. When it comes to how you pose your figure in the art piece, nudity can be vulnerability, it can be fear, it can be an infantile state. Because when we're born, we don't have clothes. We're vulnerable, we're naked and afraid. <laughs> But the consequence to this same kind of symbolism, well, let me talk about the other side of the symbolism. Sometimes nudity can be used as a form of empowerment for an art piece. For instance, you're probably wondering why I've been drawing my mermaid naked in her torso human-like region. And for my piece, I wanted this mermaid to feel more like a siren goddess that she was totally in her element knowing that she does appear visually super attractive, but also she's a mermaid, she's an animal. She doesn't get the concept of human morality, of clothes, of needing to cover herself up. And again, mermaid, she eats men. How is she gonna lure them in? Is she covering her titties? Just <laughs> silliness aside. She's naked because that's her natural state, and in this form of nudity with my art piece, it empowers her, it emboldens her, and it shows her, like, sexual strength. Also, like, she's staring right into your eyes, like, she's making that strong eye contact, like, you want to look at her, and you want to you wanna go to her, you want to drown for her, was kind of the idea here. But the lean into the consequence of nudity for symbolism is that some people may not understand what symbolism you're going for. And I've had this happen a couple of times leading into the other two cons is that some people have a moral aversion to nudity. And this is where your symbolism may be misconstrued. For instance, a lot of people who see nudity automatically think pornography, and that's technically not true. The naked figure does not equal pornographic. Because again, moral aversion. They've been taught nudity is not okay unless it's in a private manner. Well, they's just really ambiguous. Some people will think Nudity is not okay unless it's in a private manner, and anything depicting nudity is not okay because that's that's immoral. It's a no-no. And the other side of this, some people can find that nudity is pandering. And to some extent, nudity can be fan service, and fan service is not bad. Some people make their money real good when they do fan service art, and that is their prerogative. But some people will see it again make the association that nudity equals art although well no <laughs> that nudity equals pornography and that is not the case and um this leans into the story that i'm going to share with you guys so once upon a time when i was a sweet baboo with some friends in ib art class ib stands for inter baccalaureate this is the ap art class of our school this was my junior year and the first year we were doing our art show. So all year we've been making these college level academic art pieces where we put several weeks into research and creating it. And if we're putting nudity in our art piece, it's tasteful and it's got a reason for being naked. It's got a reason for being naked. Like it's there for a reason. It's not just there for just because. And I guess the basketball moms were having a spaghetti dinner when one of the little ones came up to the art show. This is, the end of the, this is close to the end of the high school year. And little kid, mom's not with him, runs through the art show, looks through the art show, runs back down to mommy, says, mommy, there's naked people upstairs. And the mother got outraged. She was beyond outrage. And she decided to go above the art class like she didn't even look at our art show and decided that no this is canceled i'm not having pornography in our good christian schools and 
So she went above our art class. She went above the principal. She went to the school board and said, this school has pornography in its show. It needs to be taken down. And next thing we know, we're getting a notice that our art show needs to be taken down. It's been censored. And we started protesting. Because this wasn't fair to all of us artists who had been working all year, working on these projects for months at a time, just to be told that we can no longer have our art show. And like we got in the news about our protest. We were like protesting about first two classes of the day. And like all the other students had seen our work, they knew what our work was about, and they knew what we were about, and it was just really annoying, really upsetting. And eventually we get told what happened, and we had to take it down, not permanently, but until the art show is officially to be reviewed by art colleagues and shown to the public. And this gave us some great advertising for the show. And people didn't understand why we were being told to take it down because they realized that it wasn't pornography. It was just naked human forms in art. And if you go to a museum, plenty of naked statues, no one's going to throw a tizzy and tell you, get rid of Michelangelo. Get rid of all these Grecian statues. So that was an extreme case of moral aversion towards nudity, but... Luckily, we got our show. Next year, we actually added more nudity to spite the whole incident, I guess. is a great way to say. And I know that one of my subscribers is actually one of my friends from the art class, so hello, potato art friend. Hope you're having a great day. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you are having a wonderfully creative day wherever you are. And naked or not, make sure to do what you do to make that artwork for you. Lots of love. Bye.